of you have ever played Magic the Gathering? By round of applause. Nerds! Yeah. I love, this is the same Absolutely. audience that didn't care about March Madness or the news, no. but got super excited by Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Uh, this is a writer who's written for Magic the Gathering, now works uh, for Riot Games. Mm -hmm. Please welcome my friend, Michael Echow! It's very bouncy. It is. Yeah. I think we need some pillows. It's very deep. Yeah. It's a very deep couch. Uh, hi, welcome. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for, for having being me. here. Yeah. So excited. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, Magic the Gathering fans out oh, here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Great. What card did you write specifically? Uh, so I worked at Magic a couple years ago. So the set that I worked the most on was called Battle Bond. And uh, I made some other uh, stuff as well, including a set that was released uh, for China. Uh, that had some original characters and stuff. So. That's great. Yeah. So did you write it in Chinese? Uh, yeah, so that was, uh, those cards were specifically for a set that was uh, inspired by a Chinese setting. And so it was this kind of really specific, kind of quirky magic deck. So. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. And at home, at your house, where I've been, Brag. <laughs> <laughs> when you let me and my boyfriend stay there, uh, you had you had a really beautiful set of special cards, like foil cards. Yeah, what? yeah. So uh, magic gets printed on giant sheets and then cut up and made into the individual cards and packed into decks and things like that. And uh, while I worked there, I won a little uh, prize, which was pretty cool, which is a sheet before it gets all cut up. So. That's so cool. It was awesome. So when you're writing for like a card game like that, how does it work? Are you writing in a group? Or are you assigned, like, this is the deck, and you get to figure it out? How does it work? Yeah, so writing for games is a lot of working together. So it's a lot of working in teams. And uh, you know, there's a lot of different kinds of stuff that we're trying to tackle and uh, kind of creatively come up with fun things about. So it's like in the game, uh, you need, it, you need a creature that is so big and whatever, so we have to come up with a creative like uh, concept for what that creature is and stuff like that. Is it kind of, do, do multiple people come up with things and you pitch it and the best one gets in there? Or uh, usually, there's a creative lead who kind of uh, does most of the pitching, and then uh, other writers kind of chime in as well. So it's a very collaborative and not so much combative kind of uh, arena. Oh, that's too bad. So do you know no. about <laughs> do you know about the the one magic card that was like there was only like. 10 and there's those videos they're like this is it it's like a lotus or something yeah so probably what, is, what is it the most famous magic card is called a black lotus yes. and uh if you don't play collectible card games there's some things that are, are very old and no longer made that can be worth a lot of money so i believe this card sells for around ten thousand yeah. dollars wow and Yikes. uh it's very hard it, it, again they only printed a small number of them and uh so whenever somebody has one uh it's always really exciting or if they find one uh, at a garage sale or something yeah, crazy. Yeah, well, in this YouTube video, it's like he found it in a box and they're like filming him opening it, and he's like, and there it is. He's like, just everybody like started having O faces. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were playing guitar solos, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I know some friends who played the game a long time ago, found some old cards, sold it, and then like bought a car. So it's kind of crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you working on now at Riot Games? So at Riot Games, uh, I work on a game called League of Legends. It's, uh, <laughs> all right, three people who play. Yeah! <laughs> it's uh, pretty popular. Uh, we have 67 million active players every month. What? So yeah. It's, it's a it's, small amount. It's, uh, it's currently uh, one it's of the most- Mildly popular. <laughs> one of the most popular games in the world right now. Wow. Yeah. And uh, how do you know how many people, is it online? Yep, so it's all online. Uh, mm. It's teams, two teams of five battle it out and uh, try to defeat the other team, killing other champions and uh, ultimately blowing up the enemy base. Okay. Is there, uh, do you mind if I ask if anyone in the audience has a question? Yeah, sure. Just, is there anything, just if you think about it, if you have anything you've ever wanted to know about the process of creating a game, just let me know. <laughs> you, I can tell is you're it like. stressful the trolls? <laughs> Uh, it can be. So, like, uh, if, for those who don't know, in making video games, uh, players are really passionate, which is awesome. Uh, you know, people really care about the game. Uh, sometimes that can translate into being really aggressive about, like, w anything that changes, like if you change their favorite champion or if you make something that they think shouldn't belong in the game. Uh, and one of the things that Riot Games really works hard on is we really want to involve the player and, like, check out what they're interested in and excited about. But that also means listening to a lot of sometimes very negative feedback. 
And like any other creative process, it's about uh, coming up with strong ideas, believing in what you're making, and making it with the intent of like also being a player yourself and making things that you would be excited by or that the specific type of player you're trying to reach is going to be excited by. And mm -hmm. hearing the criticism, but learning how to filter out the stuff that isn't super useful. Mm -hmm. um, so like while playing the game, I've had people be like, hey, that's so awesome. I'm so excited you're in this game. I've also had people be like, you should die and feel bad for what you do. <laughs> Do they know that you're one of the creators? Yeah, so when we play the game, uh, our, t our ta uh, tag line, our, our battle tag always has Riot in the name, so uh, people are either excited or they're like really upset. <laughs> so it's like stand up, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they either love you or they hate you. Sometimes you get the hecklers and yeah. you get murdered over and over in the game because they're better than you. <laughs> well, I, I watch and rewatch Great British baking show over and over again. Good choice. Yeah, yeah. you even more fans for that show in here. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like uh, an episode where someone took somebody's thing out of the freezer and it melted and the guy did not handle it gracefully oh. and so he got kicked off. And then the next week, the person who had taken out, who was an older woman, and she got so attacked by the internet oh, no. uh, <laughs> that she didn't come back the, the next oh. week. I know. And the best thing, I just happened to read this today, the best thing was that the Great British Bake Off staff's response was, uh, you know, it was, pro they, it was only out for about 40 seconds. It wouldn't have melted it. Also, it's getting a little, this is so British, Seems it's getting a little nasty in here. We are talking about a show about cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I love and appreciate about that show. Just a little bit of perspective. perspective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is and a very nice show. It is a very nice, nice show, and it's the same thing. Like we are playing a game with imaginary characters, but it's very serious. <laughs> <laughs> do you get serious? Do you get? Do you get? Do you ever get like? inordinately angry in a way that I would be surprised to see. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's funny because uh, when I play the game, there's definitely moments where I'm like, oh, no, ah, flip you, and I like, <laughs> get really mad, but you know, I just yell at the screen, and then I'm over it you know, pretty quickly. Also, I'm really bad at the game, so that happens a lot. You're bad at it? I am, yeah, yeah. At the new one? Or Magic, you played a lot. Did you play that more than you've played the... Uh, yeah, I think I would be a little bit better than Magic than League. League is a really hard game, um, so it's also played professionally as a sport. I don't know if you've ever heard of eSports, so uh, mm -hmm. League of Legends is kind of the video game that pioneered that whole kind of field. Are people doing it in like arenas? Uh-huh, so uh, uh, at Worlds last year, we had, I believe, like a huge stadium just filled with people watching it, like you would watch football, and they're just watching two teams of five battle it out with the game broadcast on a big screen. And, so. and are they each at a laptop? They're all at a, you know, wired in a desktop and just like two really nicely set up like kind of places, and it's this whole big thing, and we have amazing announcers who, uh, I, I, I was pretty new to the industry. I only joined Riot about a year ago, and so when I saw it, I, my mind was blown, because it was these announcers uh, are so good and they're just like you know your basketball announcers and just like calling out plays and helping <laughs> viewers understand what's happening wow. and also just like hyping it up right so. is there trash talk are people like i'm gonna crush your monster with my dragon <laughs> just like <Bitch>. that, <laughs> that uh, totally the players will, the players will trash talk, talk each other on twitter and like kind of like you know tweet little things but uh, all, all of it is you know done in uh, in, in good sport you know amazing Something mostly Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. Give yeah. it for Michael Eastow. Yeah. Yeah.